by the ocean today. Come in, take in the environment, get a good look at where you are. You are right here next to me. You are not in the ocean. I mean, you're not in your office. You're not in your house. You're here, right next to me, looking out at the water, taking in the sound. And so just let yourself be comforted by this space before we move into our meditation. Just allow yourself to take it in and realize that we are not separate. We're together here. And so just take in your new surroundings. You've just landed at Laguna Beach. Look at you. All right, it smells so fresh. Chris. So just take it in. Let yourself be mesmerized as we let more people join in. Being comforted by the sounds of the ocean. Hi Joe. Andrew, thanks for inviting your friends. Let's let a few more people settle in. And in the meantime, all you have to do is just look out at your ocean. You are here right now, Christy. I hope you guys are wearing your sunblock. Take in this environment wherever you are, knowing, trusting, believing that this is part of your experience now. There is no separation from where you may be. You're on the cliff with me now, looking out at the waters, gazing out at the horizon, hearing the waves crashing, taking in the other people around you. Allow yourself to deepen your breath as you gaze out into this ocean. Allowing yourself to draw in the breath of this calming space. And release out anything from your present reality that doesn't feel like this. So as you look out at the ocean, inhale it in. And with the exhale, Release anything that doesn't feel like this moment. This is Laguna Beach. Right near where I have been staying the last two months, and today is my last day. Or tomorrow morning, rather. And so in the meantime, I'm sharing it with all of you. We're all here together. We came together as one, so many of us, during my journey here. And so it's only fitting that we take time to breathe in this space together now. So continue to inhale in as one, this water, these rocks, the greens, the sun, and the exhale of the fear, the boxes we feel like we're in, the concerns. They don't exist here on this beach in these waters. All of us all together, we are one. We are not separate. We are in faith. And if you can, close your eyes a moment and just feel and listen to the energy. Your eyes gazing back out to the ocean and the horizon, 
We've been on quite a journey, those of you that have been with me since New York. Taking the leap of faith to come out here and to head somewhere next, but still not feeling that drive or that pull to be anywhere grounded just yet. And so in the meantime, I'll keep being held by spirit keep allowing it to reel me into the next place I'm supposed to be. And I trust that that's the same for you all. Today I'm in Laguna. Tomorrow I'll be somewhere else. And you will be too in one way or another. Whether that be physically, mentally, spiritually, it doesn't really matter. So just keep, keep taking in this heat and allowing yourself to relax. Allowing yourself to listen. Allowing yourself to believe that you can be taken to places like this whenever you want. Breathe in as the waves stretch towards the shore. Exhaling as they retreat back towards the horizon. Letting your breath match the pace that you're feeling right now. Letting it slow down. Letting yourself feel calm. placing a hand either on your heart or maybe there's a part of you that needs some healing right now. Maybe there's a part of your body that needs love from this space. So you can either place your hands on your heart or place your hands on the space that feels like it needs love or healing. And as you place your hands over that part of your body, realize that your hands are not separate from that of the ocean that you are the calming breeze, that you are the waves of content, and feel it washing over you, washing over your wounds, cleansing you, purifying your being, so your heart may expand. Affirming to your truth. And extending a sense of gratitude for the opportunity to be here right now. This is your moment. This is your reality. all breathe in together as one, feeling the space, feeling this energy, and releasing it out together. Inhaling in compassion and gratitude, and sharing it out with the world. Hi! How are 
are you guys? Can you still see the ocean behind me? You can. Um, it is amazing that we can all travel to new places and I don't even have to wash my hair and I can say hello to you all. Yeah. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to say hello and I hope you enjoyed this lookout. This was just as much for all of you as it was for me too and um, it's been a real blessing to, um, it's funny, I mean I remember choking up when I was talking to you all on my walk around my block in the Upper East Side when I was getting ready to leave my last morning and now this is my last afternoon here and I feel the same emotions honestly, the same feelings of gratitude, readiness, excitement, fear, all of it as to what the next step will bring. And um, I will say, I know that more than anything, what Laguna has given me in this time and these months is um, to trust in my gifts and to trust that if I believe in them enough, that's all that matters and that I will get all the support I need and it will be beautiful. It is a range, yeah. So, um, yeah, I feel more spacious in the surrender. And, uh, yeah, 22. Twos have been coming up for me very frequently the last couple days. The gypsy life has so many lessons that it does, you know? It's, it's easy to be stuck and to be safe as much as we don't like it and so it can be troubling sometimes to take risks and jump from one place to the next but how else do you stretch how else do you learn how else do you create your own sense of joy and comfort and trust you know so um yeah so anyway that's um I'm, I'm, yeah, that's been some of my experience here. Um, strive, yeah, so you've gotta, you've gotta believe in your mission, you've gotta believe in your faith, you've gotta believe in the notion that there is something more for you. There is so much more for you. You are not excluded from this category, you are not excluded from this reality. That is why you're here with me right now. Um, you're releasing. Tears are a release into the unfoldment of what shall be and so it's it's beautiful um so i'm in my zen space i'm feeling good i'm feeling grateful i'm looking at a statue of an angel right now of course i am um and i'll give you guys another shot of the moment before we go but uh just joy for so many of you that have been with me back since august when we started this whole crazy periscope journey when i didn't even know that this could be a possibility for me uh, but feeling like I knew I had to be somewhere come winter. And for those of you that have joined me since here in Laguna, it's really amazing. I think so, Guy. Um, and so I just want to say thank you. Thank you for allowing me to show up for all of you. Thank you for allowing me to stretch and to grow and to use my creativity in my own ways. And um, it is a blessing. So thank you. Satnam to all of you. I'm going to show you my little angel I'm looking at. Can you see right there? Hi, angel. It's, there's a little sign. Hold on, let's see. Uh, oh, thank you, Sarah. Um, I mean, it's completely allowed me to do everything. It says Garden of Love, Garden of Peace and Love. Now we can see it. You can see the little angel. Um, yeah, Periscope's where I've been able to connect with so many beautiful people and learn from all of you. I think that's what I love the most. You know, I learn from you when we work together, when we're coaching or, or I'm doing your astrology chart or I'm leading you in a meditation or we're connecting with your angels. I've done so much with all of you and I've learned so much from you by you allowing me to open up to your greatness, to channel that for you, to let you see how amazing you are. I learn so much in those moments too, so it's really cool. Okay, I'm going to cut out in a moment. Everyone is a student and a teacher. Absolutely. It's so true. And I want everyone to know that. When you feel like you're, you constantly have to keep playing student, you don't. Step up to be a teacher, and you'll know what you need to learn next.
mutual evolution. I love that word. Huh. So let's take a few more breaths in and out. Such a perfect scope for today. Yay! Mutual evolution. Uh, of course, come hang out Dream Makers Group on Facebook. If you're in LA tomorrow night, I'm teaching a Kundalini class in Venice. Just go to my profile link, daniellemercurio.com, and go to events, and you can get all the information there. I'd love to see you. Thank you, Shama. And follow her as well. She has a gorgeous chakra scope. Yeah, it's magic here. But I also know that it's time to go, you know? It's like, you know when your time's up and there's more places I have to go and see and experience. And I can always come back. That's the great thing. We have to remember when we're so scared to leave our box, we're so scared to leave what we know, take a risk, try it out. And in worst case scenario or best case scenario, you get to go back. This put me out of my comfort zone. I know I can always come back if I want to. Doing my job put me out of my comfort zone. But I know that if I had to, which I won't, but <laughs> it's there. So do you know that. Alright. It's amazing when everyone starts to feel like home. Yeah, that's it, Sarah. I love that. You know, I, I was kind of sad at first leave Lagoon, and I am in some ways. But I know that wherever I'm going is going to be just as good or better. So... That's exciting. And I know I can ground into the energy of where I am. And we have some exciting trips coming up, my friends. Let me tell you. All right. I'm going to peace out. Have a gorgeous day. And we'll talk soon. Bye-bye.